And, uh, I thought I would just kind of share my thoughts on uh, mixing religion and uh, in in business. If you want to do it, do it. Um, if you don't want to, fine. Hey folks, Randy here with Dueling Cut and Trim. So uh, there was a uh, post on one of the lawn groups I'm a part of on Facebook the other day, and it really got me thinking. Uh, the guy posted on there, uh, so, uh, uh, I might do a screenshot, I might actually do some uh, actual editing on this video and post a little screenshot of the thing, but he says something to the effect of, uh, if you're a business with a religious name or a religious phrase, uh, you know, I'm not doing business with you, I can't trust you, I don't know, something along those lines. And uh, it sparked quite a conversation. There's a lot of comments on it, a lot of people with a lot of opinions. Uh, some people were saying some not so nice things about religion. Uh, some people were saying some uh, uh, very positive things about religion. And some people were just in the middle. Why are we even talking about this? And, um, you know, I, I put my two cents in, which literally two cents worth of information. It was not valuable at all. Um, but uh, I was really thinking about it. I've been thinking about it ever since I saw that post and I've been thinking about it this morning. And uh, I thought I would just kind of share my thoughts on uh, mixing religion and uh, in, in business. Um, the short version is I don't really care. Um, if you want to do it, do it. Um, if you don't want to, fine. It doesn't really matter to me. No matter what you do, you're going to market your business in a specific way and you're going to appeal to certain people based on how you market it. You know, if uh, if my business was called His Way Lawn Care, that's going to trigger something for a lot of uh, uh, Christian consumers and it might give me an edge with those consumers. Um, you know, if if they're trying to decide between Jeff's Lawn Care and His Way Lawn Care, and both of us have similar reviews. If you're a Christian, uh, his way is probably going to get the nod because you're like, well, it's it's a Christian company. Um, now, that could work in reverse. If it's an atheist com uh, customer, yeah, that customer could be like, you know what? <sighs> Jeff's got good reviews. His way's got good reviews, but you know. <sighs> Not really trying to support faith-based stuff. I don't really care, so I'll just go with Jeff. You know, seems like it'd be less drama. You know, that that's going to happen too. It's going to work both ways. So I don't really care if that's how you want to market yourself. Go for it. Um, you know, some one guy was joking that he markets himself as an atheist business. Again, that's fine, and that's going to attract a certain type of customer. But I, I can tell you. I don't base my uh, uh, purchasing decisions based on, you know, what the faith of the other person is. But uh, if, <laughs> and I'm probably wrong here, but I, I think of atheism, I, I don't think of atheism as being necessarily anti-Christian. It's just, if that's what you believe is what you believe. But if you present just like, I'm an atheist business, it, to me, it, it it's almost kind of turning me off as a Christian, just like a Christian business would kind of turn an atheist off. And so I'm going to be less likely to use you. Again, that might be fine. If you're marketing yourself as an atheist business, I'm a Christian guy. I'm probably not the customer avatar that you're marketing towards. So again, saying all that to say, I don't care how you market your business. Just know that uh, however you do it, you're going to attract or repel different people just based on how you do it. Uh, most people shy away from religion and business completely. And that's probably the safest, smartest way to handle it. You know, it's kind of like you, you know, you wouldn't put, you wouldn't, uh, you know, call your business liberal lawn care. I mean, you're probably not going to get a lot of conservative customers, just like if, you're, if you named your company, make grass great again. I mean, you're not going to get a lot of liberal customers, I mean, you know, cause they're going to see what you're doing. Um, so it just kind of depends on how you, you know, how you want to do it. Um, I can say for me, I'm a Christian man. My business is based on principles that I've read in the Bible and, and I'm really proud of that. Um, but I don't necessarily market myself as a Christian business. 
even though that is what I am. Uh, faith. <laughs> Timing of that was interesting. <laughs> I ended up recording like another 10 minutes, or talking for another 10 minutes before I realized that stopped recording. <laughs> so anyway, you know, I don't necessarily uh, market myself as a faith-based uh, business, but I, I do... I want to give the customers a sense of who I am, and so that does come through in in, in our marketing. Um, you know, I've I've tested out different little catchphrases or whatever uh, for customers to kind of remember us by, and the one that's really stuck is uh, I, I think I'll put it here if I remember, uh, but it says God, family, nature, our values in that order. And that's really resonated with our customers. Um, it's not in your face, it's not very flashy, but it gets your attention. And it communicates who I am as a business owner and how my business is run. God comes first in my life. It, it, everything about how I live my life is more or less founded on what I've read in the Bible. Uh, family is a strong number two for me. You know, nothing means more to me than caring for my wife, taking care of my son, being there for my extended family. I, that's, that is who I am. And then the business, nature, it, it comes third. And my customers appreciate that, you know, and it differentiates me from the other businesses out there. Most companies in my area market themselves, we pride ourselves on our quality. Well, so does everyone else. <laughs> so what? <laughs> That's not interesting at all. But that but that little phrase, it, it, it helps stick my company's message in people's minds and it differentiates us because we actually kind of stand for something. You know, hate it or love it, everyone knows what Chick-fil-A stands for. No one knows what McDonald's stands for. No one knows what Burger King stands for. Wendy's, Taco Bell, we have no idea what they stand for and probably don't care. But Chick-fil-A has taken a stand for something and it's made a huge difference in their business. It's really differentiated them. You know, that's why people, you know, it, it, it's, yeah, anyway. So, <clears throat> so it, it, that's how I implement it into my business. And, you know, I don't shy away from faith-based conversations, but I don't initiate them either. Um, and, and the other thing that's important is when I say our number one value is God, I'm not being specific for you. When I say that, I'm referring to Jesus. I'm re referring to the God of the Bible for me. But I can tell you, I I've had a Buddhist guy work for me. It was fine. There were no problems. Uh, there was His faith was encouraged. Um, I've also had, I currently, um, off and on, have a, a Muslim guy that works for me. And uh, it's great. You know, I have no problems with him. He has no problems with me. The fact that he is a man of faith is encouraged. I'm happy about it. Um, and uh, we, we have a good relationship and we work well together. You know, I'm encouraging anybody. If, you, if you're a person of faith, you're going to be welcome at doing cut and trim. It's, you know, it just is what it is. Um, but we're not going to throw it in people's faces. So that's how we've, you know, marketed ourselves. You know, there are guys that market themselves hardcore. They've got the Bible verses on the side and it's, you know, heavenly lawnscape stuff, you know, whatever, you know, God's chosen son lawn business or whatever. I'm just making stuff up, but I've, I've seen stuff. I just don't want to call people out specifically. Um, you know, some people do that and that's fine. But if you choose not to, that's also fine. You know, if there was a guy that came out with, you know, uh, Christians need not apply lawn care, I, that's fine. You know, that's that's you, you know. That's how you want to market your business, fine. You'll never get my business, you know, but you probably didn't want it. So do whatever you want. You know, if you want to market yourself as a faith-based company, do it. Uh, if you don't want to, do it. If you want to use your business to proselytize, go for it. I can tell you, you're not going to get a lot of business if you do that. 
Uh, I, at least I don't think you will. Um, I wouldn't hire you. I wouldn't do it to someone and I don't want it done to me. Um, but you know, some people would like that. And I guess some people would hire you. It just, most people wouldn't. So it's really, it, and honestly, it's up to you. You decide what image you want to portray and then pursue that. If you want to portray a more faith-based or religious image, go for it. You know, if there's a guy out there that wanted to market himself uh, towards Muslims and wanted to kind of, you know, express that he was a Muslim guy and this was a Muslim-owned business, uh, he'd probably do pretty well. There's probably a lot of people out there, primarily Muslims, uh, that that uh, would appreciate a business that was catering towards them. Um, but there's a lot of people that uh, would be put off by it and wouldn't hire them. You know, it, it, it just completely depends on what you want to do. Uh, you know, if you want to avoid religion altogether, it's a good move. You know, it, it really is just how you want to market your business. It's really that simple. You know, marketing your business as more or less religious doesn't really have anything to do with how honest your company is. Um, you know, it's just a marketing choice in my mind. It's not, I guess that's kind of the important thing uh, to say in all this is uh, expressing your faith in your business is not a spiritual decision in my opinion. It's a marketing decision. Uh, you're not any more or less faithful to God because your business has Jesus name lawn biz in the title. Uh, it's strictly how you're marketing yourself. It's no more, no less. You're trying to get closer to your customer avatar and that's one of the ways you're doing it. It, uh, I don't think... Jesus or whoever God you're serving is any more or less impressed based on what you call your business. That has a lot more to do with your personal life. Um, but that's, that's we're getting into a religious conversation and that's not what I'm here to talk about. I tell you, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, uh, I swear, dude, I'm not superstitious, but this phone keeps falling off its mount at weird times. <laughs> but I'm going to end it here because I don't really have anything else new to say. Um, I just, you know, market your business the way you want to market it. I don't care. And if you think that marketing your business as a religious-based or faith-based business makes you more dishonest, you may be a moron. I don't know. But uh, ultimately, it doesn't matter, and I don't care. Um, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, you know, whether or not you, you do market yourself in a Christian or spiritual or whatever faith way, or whether you don't and you know, just what, what your opinions are in general. Um, I, I'd love to hear it. Um, I enjoy the conversations we have on YouTube and I respond to pretty much every comment unless you're like a jerk. Um, I would. I'd probably still respond to you if you're a jerk, but uh, this is Randy with Doing Cut and Trim. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you got something out of it, and I will talk to you later.